All right, guys, so in this video, we're doing a little quick preview on the upcoming Diatone Tina whoop. I think that's what they're calling this. It's a, kind of a really different looking whoop here, and as the gem fan 40 millimeter propellers on this four bladed, they're upside down. The whole the whole duct here is upside down and the motor is hung upside down. And that does seem to give it more power than you would expect for something of this size. And you can see the way the ducts and the frame is arranged. The motors in the front are wider for the camera a little bit closer in the back. So it's not a true X, it's kind of a dead cat, slightly dead cat style. Although you really can't feel it in flight. So these ducts here are injection molded plastic, I believe. I'm not exactly sure what the material is. The case here does come with other colors. Um, I think the other colors are blue. You got green. Um, orange. And I think the last one's like a gray black color. And so <laughs> these are spares. I guess you could mix and match your colors this way, but that comes, mine come, uh, came with the uh, four ducks in purple. And you can see how the motor is at uh, attached under, uh, basically upside down like this, and the wire goes here. It's pretty rigid. Uh, in fact, it's very rigid for the weight. I'll give you the weight and everything later. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of different. I mean, you got basically a top plate and a bottom plate, and that holds the ducks together. So um, if you take one of the, the ducts off, take the ducts off, it gets very floppy because this is a very thin carbon, it's like one millimeter. And it's using the Diatone all-in-one whoop style flight controller. Run cam nano 2. And the video transmitter is a TBS Unify on a support plate, which you can't see here because it's underneath the receiver. So in typical Diatone fashion comes as a plug and play. I added my own XM Plus receiver and just had the wires come out the back like this. VTX is kind of here. The USB port is right there. Kind of hard to see. And somewhat difficult to get to. They do provide a um, dongle or I mean, it's a rain angle adapter. So you can plug in uh, your micro USB here and then the other side's a USB-C actually. Um, now <laughs> this one came with uh, Falco X or Flight One. Um, and I could not figure out how to get it to work, and I supposedly you can just get it to work via the OSD. Um, I didn't realize that. I tried to plug it into the computer and try and see if I could configure it through the um, configurator, but apparently there's something different about this one. Uh, this, I would not work with my computer at all. So I wanted to fly it, so I just went with the flight controller. I just put the flight controller into DFU mode by pulling the boot button down plugging into my computer, I, fl I flash beta flight, because it's the uh, same board. Uh, so this is why this is kind of a preview, because it's not um, using the firmware that it's going to be coming with. It's going to be coming with the Flight 1 firmware. And what you're seeing in this video is going to be the beta flight um, tune. So basically I just flashed uh, beta flight 411. Um, so using the Mamba F1 target, I um, uh, flash the ESCs with uh, Jazz Maverick 1677 24 kilohertz firmware and I enabled RPM filter and it's running on stock PIDs. Um, 1103 8500 KV motors. I think the ESCs were just 13 amps. I did a video review on the, uh, the flight controller a while back and we've seen the run cam in R2. Nothing unusual about that. Battery goes on top here, and I flew it on 2S, on this uh, 2S Tattoo 450. And this weighs, let's see here. Let's see, without the battery, it's coming in at a pretty hefty 60 grams. And then with the battery, we're almost 90 grams, or about 89 grams. So it's pretty heavy, and I think that's why I was kind of surprised it flew as well as it did, given the weight because um, uh, the basically there's nothing blocking the flow of air pushing the duct or pushing the prop air down the way the prop is oriented. So I think that makes a pretty big difference. I mean, I think we have, I have a feeling we might be seeing more of those designs, but these, these feel kind of light, but I'm not so sure. Let's see here. Yeah, they're coming in at three, 3.2 grams each. So not super light for the ducks. I'd say it's more than, that's like, Almost close to 14 grams, I think, 
for four of these out of the 60 grams just for the ducks. You add in the electronics, the motor, the frame, and everything, and all that adds up. I mean, if you look at other 40 millimeter prop, whoops, they're mm, quite a bit lighter, <laughs> especially if you think about like something super light like the Mobula 7. I think that was like 31 grams, like about half the weight. So this is not a what I would call a racing type of whoop. This is more of a kind of a cruiser. Mm, I suppose if you used a 3S battery, which I might try later, it might go faster, but you know, 2S is fine, for fine. Um, it's nice and stable on beta flight with the RPM filter on, but um, I'm going to be um, eventually flashing uh, flight one back onto this and with the settings, got to figure out how to do that. And you'll have another video on this one later, but yeah, I just want to show you the this flying around on beta flight 411 with uh, basically default PIDs and RPM filter enabled. Anyway, so let me know if you guys have any questions about this guy. Don't have a link on this yet, I'll update that in the description later. I don't think it's on for sale yet, and with the Chinese um, New Year thing going on, all the, uh, I guess, <laughs> the health emergency in China, I'm not exactly sure when this will be actually available. So, when you see this video, um, uh, if it's close to uh, early February, you may not be able to get this until a bit later. So, but anyway, let me know what you guys think of this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'm only running on 2S, you can see how much throttle I'm using, quite a bit. It's very windy right now. Seems to fly fine on beta flight. Pretty good control. A little bit of jello. Let's see you get on the sun here. Battery is about to run out soon. About three minutes, not too bad for a 452S.
All right, super windy. I'm gonna give this a try in 3S. I have no idea what's gonna happen. So I'm carrying a 3S 450. It definitely feels a lot heavier. And I'm hearing a little bit of oscillation. It is very windy right now. I'm not sure how this would fly on 2S. Wow, no y'all washer, that's pretty amazing. Well, that's pretty interesting, there's no y'all washout. Huh, maybe it's a, because the, the, the props are at the bottom with nothing blocking the airflow. Maybe it's because it's on 3S. The wind is really bad. Man, uh, having these ducks just, just makes it worse. Fly surprisingly well on default PIDs. No PID tuning, just RPM filter. And there's some oscillation there. Flies very predictably, very responsive. Much more than I would expect for something this heavy with just 40 millimeter propellers. Uh, anyway. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.